This is we announced the addition of uh, Joe Flacco to our football team. Joe's a perfect fit for us in the fact that, uh, you know, he's a winner. He's played in a lot of big games. He has a lot of good football left in him at 34 years old. Feel like he's just uh, really coming into his prime. So we're excited the fact that uh, he's going to be our quarterback. With, uh, with that being said, Joe Flacco. Well, thanks, John. I'm not really big on opening statements here, but uh, guys, I'm super excited to be here. Joe, can you just kind of describe what it's been like for you the last six months or so, seeing your time end in Baltimore and then ending up here? Yeah, well, if I have to reflect back on that time in Baltimore, it was not very fun. It was miserable sitting there on the bench and not being able to contribute, not really feeling like you're a part of the team. Um, you know, but if that's what it takes to be in this situation right now and be as excited about it as I am and my family is, um, then that's what it takes. And I really am excited. I got the call, I think it was a Wednesday morning. I hadn't heard anything about what might happen to me. You know, I figured obviously that I was going to be traded at some point, but you know, you start to get anxious and start to want to know what lies ahead. And I hadn't heard anything. And then all of a sudden me and my wife are in the car and I got a call from the Baltimore facility. And I was like, I don't know if I want to answer that because I want to at least know what I'm getting into when I answer this call. And so I didn't, I figured they'd leave a message. And two seconds later, I got a call from Eric DaCosta. And I quickly realized that like within the first 10 seconds of the conversation, he was about to tell me where I was going. And when he did, when he finally said Denver Broncos, I mean, me and my wife looked at each other as I was driving and just had big smiles on our faces. And, uh, you know, like I said, if that's what I had to go through to get to where I am now, uh, then I'm happy to have done it. I don't normally talk about athletes at 34 years old going into their prime, but John has said a couple of times, you're going into your prime. What does that mean to you, and do you feel the same way? Well, it feels good, because I definitely feel that way. So it feels good to, to hear somebody say that. I mean, shoot, with Tom Brady now, quarterbacks are playing until they're about 60 years old. So uh, listen, I'm as healthy as I've ever been. Uh, I'm as physical as I've ever been. So, you know, obviously at any time something crazy could happen, but, you know, barring anything crazy happening, I'm as healthy as I, I can be and as physical and ready to go as ever. So I'm excited about what lies ahead for me in my future. And I got, you know, I'm not putting a number on how, how much time I got left to play. I want to play as long as I can, and hopefully they're dragging me out of this building a long time from now. Joe, how, how would you describe your leadership style? Well, listen, I mean, especially with a new team, my first priority is going to come in here, build, relationship, build relationships, but at the same time, and, you know, more importantly, I'm going to show everybody in this organization and, on, and more importantly, the players on, on my team that I can play, that I can play quarterback, and that I can lead this team because of the talents and the skills that I have. And then once I'm able to kind of establish that the way I want to, you know, then things grow from there and you become the voice and you become, you know, everything else that comes with it. But the way I see it, the most important thing is to get everybody to buy in and believe that you're, you're the guy. John, when you looked at Joe Flacco, and I think you'd said it maybe on NFL Network, but what is it that stuck out to, as to why he's the answer right now for this point with the Broncos? Well, I mean, I think if we look what, uh, you know, what we're going to do offensively uh, with Rich coming in and, and and, uh, you know, the, the, the offensive, you know, philosophy and how we're going to go about it. I, you know, and plus, you look at the success that Joe's had and where we were and, and uh, um, just felt that, uh, you know, and the success that even though this is a different offense that has evolved, um, but also to know the, uh, the success that Joe's had in the system that he had with Gary. And, and you know, obviously that's changed, but, um, you know, that had a lot to do with it, you know, and I think that, uh, again, getting a guy that uh, I believe at 34 years old, as you're talking about, is still very young at the position that he's playing. Still has all the tools to make all the throws, and uh, it turned out to be a perfect situation for us, and so we're glad it worked out. We all know that quarterback is the most position, most important position to have solidified, not just in football, but maybe in all of sports. Well, it gives us a lot of options. You know, just from week to week, we may be able to line them up where we feel we best fits to defend the team we're playing. He's smart enough to learn all the different positions. He's proven in games and on tape that he can ex execute the positions, not just know what to do, but play them competitively and at a high level. So it's a big advantage. 
and it helps when you're looking at other players that you have guys that can move around. This is for both of you. After these signings, how do your expectations change for this team this year? Try and improve each and every day. And our goal is to, when we line up on each and every Sunday, or Monday, or Saturday, or Thursday, <laughs> that we, will, we expect to win that game. It's a process. I don't think you make predictions or, but we expect to win the games we're playing.